All right, welcome to another podcast. Uh, real quick, we're going to be talking a lot, a lot about meditation and some of our routines and developing habits with uh, my good friend Dominic. And we do go in depth with a little bit of uh, spirituality and happiness and how that plays a major role kind of in consciousness and in the mind. And see, these are things I've been getting into a lot in the past couple months. Um, very interesting stuff, and I think it's very applicable for anybody's life to get into any of these things. So, yeah, quick intro. I'm gonna We're going to jump right in. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. All right, welcome to today's podcast. I have my best friend, Dominic Borzabadi, on here today. And we're going to be talking specifically about some of the things we've been getting in getting into recently and we have been sort of formulating our habits and we kind of like talk with each other like every day sort of an accountability thing um sort of the three big things that we've been doing is running meditating reading and that's just our thing and we uh just kind of discuss every day and catch up on just like our mile times books meditation techniques all those sort of things and it's been a great it's been a great like past few months of just doing that. We talk about it a lot, but like self building is and just kind of just mastering your mind is so important when you're young, and it's just kind of like you know you just compare it to you're just kind of sharpening you know the axe before you cut down the trees sort of. It's a good analogy. Yeah, it's a good analogy to put it. Yeah, and so our podcast this is pretty much going to be talking about a lot of the things that we be getting into. So first thing I do want to talk about is meditation because it's <clears throat> I feel like it's going to becoming ma- it's going to become mainstream probably I I feel like it's going to become mainstream um I feel like a lot of people are going to start meditating in the future I even think they should implement it into our education system but it's a whole thing in itself Yeah it's uh I started okay so my personal thing <clears throat> I started meditating for productive reasons I went into it thinking you know just to refresh my brain just have a good refreshing point which it does do that but i had no idea the world like of meditation that i was about to like dive deep into yeah so i agree with that one so dominic i would say we've been meditating like every single day the past month a couple months probably on average like every single day yeah. um so I would, I would ask you, what do you think some of your benefits are from doing meditation every single day? Well, certainly a lot of people, just redirecting the question a little bit, a lot of people don't have time, act like they don't have time today to meditate, but it's not like a sitting down process. You know, it could be five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. It could be however you like to be, but like if you sit down for at least a couple minutes a day and just clear your thoughts and exist. Meditating will help you out in so many ways. One thing I've been realizing is when you sit down and just clear your brain, you think of things. You become creative. You're just in little creative energy spurts when you're meditating. It's weird, but you think of a lot of different things when you're just trying to clear your head of thoughts. And another thing is it really refreshes you. Instead of waking up in the morning and just being sluggish and tired, you can sit up, stretch a little bit, get your body awake, and then meditate for 30 minutes or however long you want it to be, just to refresh yourself and give you a jump start to the day. It's just, it's just amazingly awesome. It's like, amazingly it so beneficial, and it's, I think it's very overlooked. I think the people that do it only understand it, and that goes along with a lot of things, but like, yeah. like once you do it, you understand, like, and that's just one little corner of it. It's, there's, it's such a vast thing that we could, this whole podcast can be about meditation. And for somebody watching this podcast that's really questioning meditation or whatever, just try it. Just, you know, yeah. look up a guided meditation video or just sit down and clear Here's the thoughts. thing, though. I think there's many ways you can meditate, but the best ways to meditate, a lot of people don't do meditation right. And yeah, I, I didn't do meditation right for a very long time. And then this goes into some deeper topics. Like... So for meditation, the key thing of it is, is kind of developing that higher awareness thinking. And so pretty much when you, okay, so my process of meditation, this is the right way to meditate. You become very aware of your thoughts and you start identifying your thoughts as uh, objects. 
as actual things. And you start developing a higher perspective of your thoughts. It's kind of like you're conscious of your consciousness in a sense. And when you do this, you start to see, you start developing a filter and you start to have the thoughts you actually want to have because you'll start seeing like, huh, I don't want to have those thoughts. Because when you meditate, the whole goal of it is is like to clear your brain, be in the present moment, just being presence. And you're going to have thoughts. That's human instinct. Like thoughts are going to pop into your mind. And I think about it is, is like you look at your thoughts and you just kind of just see them as they are without your ego getting involved, you know. And yes. the thing you'll start seeing is we're very, it's called the monkey mind. And we have just voices in our heads all the time. Just, just, just It's just like schizophrenic, but like you're not uttering your words like schizophrenic people do. You're thinking about it. And this kind of goes into the book that me and Dom have read, and it's by uh, Eckhart Tolle, and it's The New Earth. And he put a nice little story in it to where he was following a schizophrenic woman, a crazy, a mad woman. And she was just, he was on the on the train going to his university, and she was just uttering words in the corner of the bus. And she was a schizophrenic person. And it wasn't, and what struck him wasn't that she was she wasn't, like... What struck him wasn't that she was crazy, but like she was functioning like a normal person. And she knew where she was going, she knew where she was at, but she just was talking to herself. And like I can finish the story off because I know it perfectly too. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, well, he decided to follow her because he thought she was just so crazy. And it, she was walking in the same building as he was. And it turns out she was walking to the campus administration center. She was one of the people that worked at his college. So it just made him think it was crazy how somebody that crazy Mm -hmm. quote unquote could have a job and fit in with society still yeah there is no difference between what she's saying and the voices in your head it's just the same thing but you're just not saying you're just not uttering him it's a very thin line that's it was a great great story and he later realized that when he was writing his book and it was like that was a big breakthrough uh so another thing about meditation and this goes into kind of like success, okay? <laughs> that was great right there. So this this goes into more like success, like for successful people. Okay, there's a guy named Tim Ferriss. If you don't know, he is he is a entrepreneurship. He's written a few books, um, but he started a podcast, which kind of inspired me to start podcasting a little bit. And his whole goal of his podcasts were to interview very successful people, just uh, top performers like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Casey Neistat, Seth Godin, people like that. And he's podcasted all these people for about just dissecting them and just like their their routines, habits, all the things they've done. And he wrote a whole book on this. It's like a 400-page book. And he dissected all these people and he saw the number one most recurring thing was they either had a meditation exercise they did every single day or they had something they were doing that they were in that meditation, meditative state. So like people say like, oh, I don't want to do meditation is stupid but like when you uh are playing a sport or you're doing your hobby or something when you're running or something it's it's a form of meditation it's uh you're in the zone yeah you're 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 just in that meditative state just that flow so but meditation the meditation exercise goes more into like the consciousness and things like that it really helps you out on every every different direction of ways like We've been getting into spirituality, okay, a little bit, um, and we're, we've been getting into Eastern philosophy. We're interested in that, and the whole goal. There's a thing called uh, enlightenment, in a sense, and you kind of follow me along. You can take it as it is. You can believe it. You know what? You can believe whatever you want. Um, but enlightenment, in a sense, is formulating that ultimate awareness uh, and thinking literally beyond your ego like just being thinking in terms of just like literally thinking just beyond yourself and that's just like a higher awareness things and you can look into it like people like even like I even saw a video of Jim Carrey talking about it he's like somehow reached this higher awareness and it's like you start to you start to not identify yourself with like a lot of the thoughts you have. You start to dis- disidentifying yourself with like material objects that, you know, are self-fulfilling things. You just start 
you just start thinking beyond yourself, and it gets to a point where um, Sam Harris has talked about it a little bit. He's a neurology. He's he majors in neurology, but you get to a point where you're the player, and you're like controlling the video game character, like in a video game. You're you're just in a higher perspective. You're just controlling yourself, and you use your ego as a tool. And I think a lot of people when they get into spirituality and stuff, they I think a misconception is them talking a lot about like how the ego is a bad thing, but it can be viewed as a tool. Yeah. And yeah, Mason. One thing I wanted to add on to that is with people's the root a lot of, of a lot of people's unhappiness is they revolve the life their life around the, they revolve around their life way too much. You know, just themselves. They don't worry about things above them or around them, the, the beauty in nature, the beauty in everything, you know, they don't look around to see that, and they just just get sucked into their own thoughts and their own mind, it's just, yeah, unfortunate downfall, they're sucked into, just there's without so much, the realization. There's so much we can talk about in this podcast, there's so much to cover, we can have multiple podcasts about this stuff, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's, there's a lot, and yeah. that does go to... We can talk about happiness a little bit because that could be extremely helpful, you know. Like, yeah, it's just one thing I've been thinking about lately. Yeah, like what were we talking about earlier? You were talking about talk about like what you were talking about earlier. Just like, yeah, just one happiness. thing. Happiness is one thing I've I've really thought about. What is happiness? You know, what is it? But happiness isn't a thing. It's not a materialistic thing. It's it's nothing at all. It's just a state of being. You know, when you're just like meditating, you're existing. Happiness is a state of being that you can just put yourself in. Like, if you're unhappy, think about why you're unhappy, and and that's your solution right there. Because you are pretty much always happy. You're made to be happy. You know, it's it's really weird to think about, but be happy. Mm-hmm. Just, you just anybody be, can be it. It's 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 underlying in the present moment, and that goes yeah. into just the power of now, just now, like happiness, like. It's a psychological illusion that your mind plays. It's a, it's a big. It's like a rat race. It's a, it's an illusion. Like your mind is ultimately an illusion, like sucked up in time. Exactly. And it's never. People live their lives in the future, and people live their lives in the past, but they never get to appreciate the present moment that mm-hmm. is right in front of their faces. Yeah. I got my what? dogs working. This is such a tight podcast, dude. Like. Told you this would be great. This is knowledge. Just, this Whoa. is great. Um. Yeah. So we, in the midst of this podcast, we decided, you know, we have our hat, like we've been developing really good habits of just like running and (laughs) running, reading, things like that. But we can just focus solely on like meditation, honestly. Because every topic we can talk about just is just so much, it's too in depth, you know. So I'll title this podcast just all about like meditation and happiness. Yeah, and how meditation should be applied in in your life every single day. We have read the Power of Now, and it's a uh, it's a pretty popular book, and it has some very great points in it. It's like one of the most crucial things I've learned so far in my life, and the main basis of it is it's it's very hard to structure into words. It's just like meditation is like the main thing to do to understand. Everything is in the now. Our our lives are made up of just now, just nowness. It's always now. So, with meditation, the practice of meditation, understanding, just being in the now, being present, being the present moment. What are some things that you've done that you find is very like helpful with knowing this? Well. It just makes you accomplish more. You're on you're on top of things instead of procrastinating and just always pushing in the future. It, you're just if you don't do it in the present moment, you're never going to do it at all. Essentially, mm-hmm. the laws of physics are with that. You know, an object is at rest when an object is at rest. An object's moving when it's moving. When you're not doing anything, and nothing's going to happen. So when you're in that present now mindset, you just get everything done. It just makes you want to accomplish more because you're just. In the now, yeah. it's just a lot of these topics we talk about just are underlined by the now because it's just a mindset to live by. Yeah, it's existing. You know, it's literally like restructuring your brain. It, it it's uh, 
see, this is the biggest thing, okay? And it's this is the biggest thing. Before doing anything in life, it's so important to focus on yourself first and to just self-build, make yourself as efficient as possible. And just like developing this mindset is just so crucial in order to do things. Like for me personally, okay, the, um, the power of now. And just like meditation and stuff, you start to identify with your ego a little bit more. So like whenever something bad happens, like an example, like so I'm in the restaurant and I'm I, I, this has happened too. And I used to mess up on some food that I would cook back in the kitchen at my job. And, you know, you, I would have moments of just like, oh, like just, damn, like, because, you know, I'd like, they're like, hey, you messed this up. You know, it's, it's kind of embarrassing and it's just kind of like, oh, you know. But then you start to realize, like, in the ultimate reality of things, it's it's not that big of a deal. And you just kind of move on. People it's want The universal to, perspective. Yeah, and then another thing, too, if something, you know, something bad happens in your life, something happens in your life, humans love to hold on to, like, emotions. Just holding on to them. But, you know, it should be viewed all... It should just be viewed as, like, you had the emotion, just let go, move on. All emotion is is just the connection between your body and your mind. Yeah, and you should look at emotions as ripples in the water. They they pass and go. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, so this summer you're off school. Um, what are you hoping to? Um, what are some like goals that you have for as far as long as like what are you going to be doing to be able to like keep growing and cultivating your mindset that you're currently have right now? What do you think you'd be doing? Yeah. Well, one thing that comes with this mindset is it's just growth. You're just on growth, you know, a peak. You're just never thinking about a stop. You're just trying to keep just taking everything in like a, like a plant. And mm-hmm. one thing, one of my goals for the summer is now that I have a lot more free time on my hands um, out of school, going to my senior year, is I'm going to be working a lot, getting my money up. I mean, that's not too big of a thing, but... One yeah. thing I'm going to be doing is reading, running, and meditating. Those three things right there, just they're all put you in the now, and they just all make you benefit so much. There's endless benefits just from meditating is just your spirit, and reading is taking your mind, and running you just in the now because it, you're forced to now. Is it exercises your physical body. It's just those three things right there, I feel like, just – come to one and give you just the ultimate mindset. Yeah. And get you on board with that mindset. And so we were talking about this a little bit too. Um, as far as habits are habits are concerned, we were talking about starting off our our mornings and just like it's called priming. And starting off our mornings just right, you know, like when you start off your morning, you go out meditate instantly. Read a little bit maybe get a little exercise going or something. Starting off your morning right, eating, you know, eating healthy, getting a nice meal. It starts your day off right. Like, you you know, with a, with a good morning, you're going to have a good day. Yeah. We're talking about that a little bit. Um, got any questions for me? I didn't take jot notes. I just knew it was going to flow fine, like our conversations. Well, what do you think is... So good at starting the morning. How do, how, do you, how do you think that ties in with leading the rest so of the So every the question, it lagged. What do you think about priming, essentially how you say it, to start off your day? How do you think it affects the rest of your day? So what I do is positivity is super important. So what I have been doing recently is of course I do meditate. And meditation is more of an awareness thing for me. Like, I think meditation is great. Um, I don't think it necessarily puts me in a positive mood. It's just simply, that's a practice of just kind of disidentifying with myself. It's not necessarily happy. Um, But I do notice when I am in my egoic self, I'm, I'm just more, I'm just ultimately just so much more happy just with everything. And I'm not just saying that either. But what I have been doing is I, I listen to like one song every single morning like like I usually work in the mornings and I will like meditate and then just listen to an uplifting song in the morning 
and that's what I do a lot, and that just gets me in a happier, uplifted, more mood. Um, and I think that really just affects the rest of my day because it just makes me feel more uplifted and happy. And yeah, I mean, that's it, Bye-bye. I think the biggest thing you get out of all of this is underlying happiness just affects everything. It's just very simple things. Just being happy is so important. And it just kind of like clears up everything. All It just kind of like my mind, my brain, just understanding these things just kind of just clear cuts everything in my life. I'm just like, okay, I want this. I don't want this. I want this. I don't want this. It's just like I don't want negativity. That's not beneficial. Everything's more clear cut if you can agree on me on with that one. Everything's definitely more clear cut. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and we will go ahead and end it, end it right here. And mm, that's the that any, was great. Any podcast, last thoughts, was... Big Dom? Any last thoughts? Not really, man. I think we're done. All right. <laughs> okay. That was a great, that was a great podcast, dude.